Hello my friends, welcome to Snapdudes. Today we'll create this beautiful 3D liquid text using the blend tool in Illustrator. Okay, so I'll go to file and then create a new file and then I'll set the width to 1920 and height to 1080p pixels. Okay, so now uh, from the toolbar I select the ellipse tool and while holding shift I'll create a circle right so by default it has a stroke so what I'll do is I'll uh, cancel this out and also change my my stroke to uh, say yellow uh, okay so now what I'll do is I'll add gradient to this circle uh, so let's say let's start with the blue uh, so what I'll do is I'll drag the blue color on left of this gradient and on the right I'll drag this blue so yeah uh, we'll have this uh, gradient circle and then what I'll do is I'll make a copy of this circle so to make a copy I'll select this circle press ctrl C and press ctrl V so this will make a copy of the circle and while holding shift I'll drag it to the right side now what I'll do is I'll increase uh, the size of the circle by holding shift and alt and then dragging from the code corners uh, so yeah here it is now uh, what we'll do is we'll blend these two circles uh, for that uh, I'll change the colors again uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's say let's change this select this slider uh, and say change it to purple color sorry uh, yeah drag the purple color over here and on the right by select clicking on this small icon I'll increase the blue like this right and what I'll do is I'll I'll drag this color onto my swatch right so it will come over here now what I'll do is I'll select this circle and drag this to the left point so yeah and on the right what I'll do is I'll I'll put in a lighter version of the blue so I'll just brighten up this from over here but you can drag and left and right to change the colors so yeah make sure the color on the right side of the blue circle is same on same that is on the left side of the circle okay so now what I'll do is I'll select both of these circles right and then go to object then blend then blend options and from the drop down I'll select specified distance and I'll add in one pixel over here and then click OK and then again I'll go to object then blend make so this will create this beautiful uh, gradient right and now what I'll do is I'll zoom out a bit and select this like say maybe uh, move it over here and you can also like uh, by double clicking on this curl you can increase or decrease the width okay now I'll select the pen tool and draw some random lines uh, in a form of M so click here 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 and here yeah so while selecting this click on this icon so now what I'll do is I'll select both of these and then click on object blend replace blind so yeah here it is so now we have created this beautiful 3d liquid text now we can also uh, change the width uh, of this M uh, what I can do is like click on this uh, direct selection tool say select this point and drag it to the right yeah and maybe drag it over here so yeah okay. yeah and also you can like uh, again do the same thing over here double click over here and you can increase or decrease the size of the 
shape yeah so like this okay now I'll select uh, the rectangle tool over from over here and create a rectangle and then uh, I'll select this rectangle right click on it and then arrange and send to back yeah so you can change the color of the rectangle from over here so yeah we created this uh, beautiful 3d liquid text thank you feel free to leave any comments and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel